All right, I am here to show you how SMB stream works and how it is an improvement over a normal VPN. The scenario that we're looking at right now is that we have NASA's and SMB access in California, and I am currently on a Windows machine hosted in London, as well as a enterprise file fabric in London. So let me show you the typical user experience. We have a VPN, this is a UDP VPN, so it's nice and quick as far as VPNs go. And I have a map network drive, just like a VPN user would use into one of my NASs. If I open up this video folder and I have this file that I want to transfer to the NAS, I can just click and drag it. And this is the experience. Now, while uh, clicking and dragging it is nice and simple, the performance of sending data five to 6,000 miles is not a very good experience. I have gigabit ethernet in both locations, and yet I'm really only getting about 10 megabit. And you can see this here on the VPN as well. The uh, VPN is listed in uh, bytes instead of bits. And so we're seeing about one megabyte per second, which is uh, roughly again, eight to 10 megabit. Let's go ahead and cancel this because it's going to take far too long. In fact, why don't we even close the VPN? So now what we're going to show you is the exact same transfer, but now we're going to use the Enterprise File Fabric Cloud Drive. The Enterprise File Fabric Cloud Drive is mounted as a drive letter, just like a VPN would be. So I have Cloud Drive right here, and the Enterprise File Fabric Cloud Drive is available for Mac, Linux, and Windows. The Enterprise File Fabric Cloud Drive gives me a easy view into all of my storage. Some of the storage is in California being provided by SMB Stream. Some of the storage is in Amazon and some of it is right here in London. If I open that same video folder and I go into my California SMB and this time instead of going to VPN demo, we go into SMB demo and I just click and drag what we see is the same process except for accelerated. So the first thing is we've cached that file in the transfer right here on my window system. We can see that we're now hitting almost a gigabit of bandwidth. And again, this is all VPN-less. And now we can see that this has fallen off and my file has been transferred. And so this is how SMB stream along with MStream um, coupled to give a end user a VPN-less experience into uh, storage that's located anywhere in the world, whether that's SMB or NFS, or um, again, through the enterprise file fabric, that can be any of our other 60 providers. So now that that transfer is completed, I can open up the enterprise file fabric in the web view additionally. The enterprise file fabric uh, has a web view. And so this is for anybody that doesn't want to install an agent or they want to access the enterprise file fabric on the road, as well as we have apps, for both Android and iOS. So I see the same view that I saw in my Windows Explorer, and I can go to Kali SMB, and I can go to the SMB stream demo folder, and I now see my file in here. And if I'd like to preview it, I can preview it right in the web, no matter what type of storage it's landed on. And so here's my video file, as well as I can scrub ahead in this file. Now, as you notice, this file is 640 megabytes. And so I am only loading the actual data that I need to preview this in the web. SMB Stream is a small agent that would be installed on the enterprise file fabric and also in the location of the NAS filers. SMB Stream can work with multiple agents. So you can have agents in multiple offices and each of those offices can have many NASs. SMB Stream completely eliminates all of the complexity associated with normal VPNs, opening up ports in your firewall, as well as the routing and complexity with a network administrator. And so in this demo, we've been able to see the difference in speed between a normal VPN, even a fast VPN, such as a UDP VPN for 640 meg file versus using SMB Stream which is a VPN-less agent. If I was using this via a VPN, I'd be subject to problems like my network dropping or anything interfering with that transfer, which that transfer could take a good 30 minutes versus the SMB stream transfer, which took under a minute, uh, probably giving me about 30 fold increase in performance over a 5,000 mile um, distance. 